Number two, we have the shear stress. So from the spacing of stirrups, we are given S equal to 140. Using the formula, then substitute the value of AV, FST, and P. We can solve for V prime. So we have here V prime equal to 0.561. So this is the stress that the stirrups could carry. We can solve also the allowable shear stress of concrete from the formula. And then we have the allowable shear strength of concrete. So that means in the beam, the stirrups can carry a stress of 0.561 megapascals and the concrete can carry a stress of 0.4142 megapascals. So all in all, we can solve for the shear stress that the beam could carry and that is equal to this the actual shear stress is equal to this formula but if we will solve for v that is equal to the v prime plus the allowable and this represents the total shear stress that the beam could carry so from the formula of the actual shear stress we have v equal to v over vd where v is the critical shear stress so substituting values we can solve for the critical shear force v equal to 91.11 and take note this is at a distance of d from the support so if we draw the shear diagram of the beam so we have here the reaction ra equal to the sum of the uniformly distributed load plus the concentrated load p and that is equal to 3.556 plus p then drawing the shear diagram we have here so maximum shear 3.556 plus p then you subtract the resultant of the uniformly distributed load so we have p then go down it will go back to zero okay so this is 1.4 the d effective depth is 0.39 so this is 1.11 so we can solve for x by proportion so, x over 1.01 .01 equal to 3.556 over 1.4. And x is equal to this value. So, the shear force, critical shear force V is equal to P plus X. And then, we have already the P in our, the V in our computation. And that is equal to 91.11. So, equating the V in the shear diagram and the V computed from the beam, then we can solve for the P, the maximum force P that the beam could carry based from shear, 88.54. Number three, we have the value of the maximum P, maximum value of P from band stress. So we can solve for the allowable band stress. So this is a cantilever beam, so we have top bars in tension. Then substituting values, we have the allowable shears, uh, allowable band stress. Then we can compute for the actual band stress. So the Vmax is equal to the reaction at A, which is equal to 3.556 plus P. Na? Okay. So substituting, equating the actual band stress to the allowable, then substituting values, we can solve for the maximum shear force that the beam could carry based on band then we can equate this maximum value of the shear to the shear force or maximum shear force of the beam so equating the two we can get the value of p based on band okay so that ends our discussion so if you have additional questions do not hesitate to email me or uh, message me through messenger so thank you very much